Carefully remove the protective stretch wrap and foam inserts on the exterior of the unit, cutting the stretch wrap on the blue foam inserts as shown. Connect the battery pack as shown. With the battery pack connected, turn on the power switch. For keypad units, the access code for the controller will be 123456 ENTER. This will allow access to open the refrigerator door. For non-keypad units, the refrigerator door can be opened via the large key zip-tied to the side of the unit. Open the refrigerator door. If shelf clips are present, remove the four shelf clips installed at the bottom of the unit. Remove the cardboard accessory box and operation manuals from inside of the refrigerator and set aside. If shelves are present at the bottom of the unit, remove them. Once removed, put all shelf clips together and set aside. Do not discard them. Remove the wooden braces securing the unit to the pallet carefully with a cordless drill. Using a socket wrench, unscrew the four anchoring bolts on the underside of the pallet, keeping all hardware together. Open the cardboard accessory box and remove the casters. Gently guide one side of the refrigerator to the edge of the pallet so the caster holes can be accessed. Do not apply pressure to the top of the unit during the installation or damage to the refrigeration components will occur. Install two of the casters and continue guiding the front of the refrigerator to the edge of the pallet, installing the remaining two casters one at a time by using the pallet as leverage. Work together during this process to ensure the unit does not tip. Once off the pallet, locate the serial plate at the back of the unit and take a photograph, ensuring the serial number can be clearly read on the picture. Wheel the refrigerator into the installation footprint as directed by the site contact. Locate the power cable on the back of the unit, carefully cut the zip tie, and plug the power cable into the outlet within the installation footprint to confirm power of the refrigerator. You should hear the compressor begin to work if power is confirmed. For final positioning of the refrigerator, the ventilation clearance required is 2 inches from the back and 10 inches from the top. Once in position, lock the front two casters. If the unit is powered on and functioning properly, the compressors will be blowing cold air into the refrigerator. If the refrigerator is shipped with drawers or baskets already installed, the shelf installation steps will not be necessary. To install the shelves, locate the shelf clips removed previously and the remaining clips from the cardboard accessory box. Install the clips flat side up as directed by the site contact. Once the clips have been installed, Insert the shelves and ensure each shelf is level. If the shelf is crooked, you may need to remove and readjust the position of the shelf clip. Close the refrigerator door once all shelves have been installed. Check that the refrigerator door is straight and does not sag. If the door sags or is loose, open the refrigerator door and loosen the bolt as shown. Adjust the door angle and retighten the bolt once the door has been adjusted. Check that the refrigerator door tension is tight enough to close the door. To do this, with the door open, place the door in position where it is almost closed and then let go of the door. If the tension is tight enough, the door should close on its own. To tighten the door tension, rotate the small bolt counterclockwise as shown. With the door closed, ensure that the unit is completely sealed so that cold air will not escape through any leaks in the door gasket. This can be done by guiding your fingers around all sides of the door seal and ensuring you cannot feel any cold air escaping. Open the door to locate and remove the product simulation bottle from the sidewall of the storage cabinet in the refrigerator. Using the provided glycerin solution in the cardboard accessory box, fill the bottle with the appropriate amount of glycerin and water. Use a ruler to measure the distance in inches from the bottom of the bottle to the base of the bottleneck. 
for refrigerators, an inch and a half of glycerin and an inch and a half of water should be used, creating a 50-50 glycerin to water mixture. For freezers, an inch and three quarters of glycerin and an inch and one quarter of water should be used, creating a 60-40 glycerin to water mixture. Install the glycerin bottle within the unit. Insert the probe into the solution and retighten the bottle lid. Leave the remaining glycerin in the 16 ounce bottle with the end user. Setting the time and date. Set the current date and time in the controller of the unit. Press the settings icon located in the lower left hand corner. Press the advanced settings button in the lower right section of the screen. When prompted, enter the passcode 1111 and press the check mark. The time and date will appear on the next screen. The time and date values can be set by touching on the value in the box to the right of each label and adjusting accordingly. Changing the temperature display. This will only be required if desired by the end user. To change the temperature display from Celsius to Fahrenheit, first press the settings icon in the lower left corner of the screen. The CF label will show you the current selection for temperature display. To change this, simply click on the value the user wishes to see and the check mark should update. Adjusting the high and low temperature alarm settings. This will only be required if desired by the end user. To change the temperature alarm settings, press the alarm icon which is located to the right of the settings icon. To adjust the alarm values, simply touch the value in the box next to the label and either select the desired value on the keypad or use the arrows to scroll up or down to the desired value. To confirm the new value, press the check mark. Provide the customer with a brief recap and overview of the steps you performed in the installation and the tools that you used. Finally, hand over the operation and service manuals to the customer and sign off on all delivery documentation.